I appreciate that. Yeah, just verify and let us know. Thanks very much. The United States introduced one of its newest nuclear weapons, the LGM-35A Sentinel. The Sentinel Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, is capable of carrying a nuclear warhead equivalent to 300 kilotons of TNT. Sentinel ballistic missiles along with B-52 Stratofortress and B-21 Raider bombers under construction, as well as several nuclear submarines, along with Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Launch Silos, all make up the U.S. nuclear triad. The Sentinel ballistic missile will soon replace its 50-year-old predecessor, the Minuteman ICBM. The Sentinel is the next-generation ICBM we need. This system will be a very formidable deterrent and capable of bringing global stability to us and our allies for decades to come, said General Anthony Cotton, Commander, United States Air Force Global Strike Command The Sentinel will not only be a new missile but also a fully integrated launch, flight and infrastructure system with modern command and control features. Missile bases are based at F.E. Warren Air Force Base, Wyoming, Malmstrom AFB, Montana, and Minot AFB, North Dakota. The U.S. is investing nearly $100 billion to arm itself with the LGM-35A Sentinel nuclear intercontinental ballistic missile. Quoted from BulgarianMilitary.com The development of an intercontinental ballistic missile built by the American defense company Northrop Grumman received a contract worth $13.3 billion in September 2022. There has been much speculation about the LGM-35A Sentinel ICBM's nuclear and deterrence capabilities. Information is circulating, although not officially confirmed, that the new nuclear intercontinental ballistic missile will carry a nuclear warhead equivalent to at least 300 kilotons of TNT. This is the W87 Mod 0 thermonuclear warhead, 300 kilotons TNT equivalent, and the W87 Mod 1 thermonuclear warhead is not known for its warhead strength. It is currently assumed that the missile will be delivered to the specified target in two ways. The first is air launched and launched from a land-based missile silo. Most likely, the rocket was powered by a three-stage solid fuel rocket engine. The navigation system will be built with GPS and an astro-inertial navigation system. This means that in addition to positioning and targeting satellites, intercontinental missiles will receive accelerometers and gyroscopes. This allows the missile to measure each plane and direction, speed, at precise calculation of distance to target, and convert distance and direction, distance and azimuth to destination. Ground-based strategic deterrent GBSD, tests will be conducted at Hill Air Force Base, Utah, and at Vandenberg Space Force Base BSFB, California, with missile launches from BSFB over the Pacific Ocean. Additional testing will be conducted in the U.S. Army Dugway Proving Ground, Utah, U.S. Army Garrison, Kwajalein Atoll, and within the territorial waters of the Republic of the Marshall Islands.